Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Please subscribe and keep watching more details. Julie Chrisley donned new physical appearance in court. Julie Chrisley appeared in court on Wednesday, September 25, for her resentencing hearing. The Chrisley Knows Best star was resentenced to the same 84 months she initially received. However, fans were interested to hear reports of how Julie looked when she walked into the courtroom. Keep reading to see what they're saying about Julie's unrecognizable look. Julie Chrisley sported brown hair in court. The Chrisley Knows Best star appeared before a judge at the United States District Court for the Northern District of Georgia in downtown Atlanta. In the end, the judge ruled that her original punishment was sufficient. Savannah Chrisley and Chase Chrisley were both in the courtroom for the hearing, but Julie didn't look like her normal self. Julie Chrisley is known for her southern charm and big blonde hair. In court on Wednesday, she sported brown hair and looked nothing like she did on television. During her appearance, she took a moment to address the court. In tears, she apologized for what she did to land herself in prison. Julie also addressed her children, apologizing to them for what they've had to go through as a result of her actions. I would like to say I've had years to think about what I've wanted to say, and I'm sorry for my actions and situations that led us to where we are today, the reality TV icon said. I've had 20 months in prison, but it has been much more leading up to the trial and I apologize for my actions that led to where we are today. I have done everything I can do to get closer to my family. I've taken tests for new skills, such as driving a forklift and serving food in proper ways. This has been the most difficult part of my life. I can't ever repay my children for what they've had to go through and for that, I am so sorry, she concluded. No photos of Julie from court on Wednesday. Chrisley fans took to Reddit to discuss the outcome of Julie's court appearance as well as her new look. It's easier for her to color her hair than highlights, one Reddit user pointed out, referring to resources available in prison. Well, P.O.P.L. needs to publish an image. Lol, another person wrote, hoping to see a photo of Julie in court. A third person chimed in, I'm hoping TMZ will drop one. Lol. Brown hair, huh? Guess she wasn't a true blonde like they all want to portray, a fourth laughed. Unfortunately for people who are curious, there won't be any photos of Julie in the courtroom. Federal court does not permit photos or videos of the inmates in court. There could potentially be a drawing released, but that is the most people will see. As fans know, Julie Chrisley initially received a seven-year sentence in November 2022 for fraud and tax evasion. Her husband, Todd Chrisley, was hit with a 12-year sentence. In the sterile, echoing halls of the courthouse, anticipation hung thick in the air. Spectators, reporters, and legal personnel waited anxiously, their eyes shifting toward the grand wooden doors that would soon reveal Julie Chrisley. The buzz surrounding her was more than just the case at hand. It was her rumored transformation, whispered about for weeks. Those who had followed the Chrisley saga, once captivated by their glittering lifestyle on television, now found themselves drawn to this latest chapter, not for the legal drama but for the curious spectacle of a woman who had apparently reinvented herself for the courtroom. As the clock neared the appointed hour, a hush fell over the room. The doors creaked open and all heads turned. Julie Chrysley emerged, flanked by her legal team, but it wasn't the sharpness of their suits or the severity of their expressions that commanded attention, it was her. Her entrance was not so much a walk as a slow, deliberate glide, every step measured, every inch of her appearance meticulously curated to send a message. But what message was she sending? Gone was the carefully coiffed, southern charm aesthetic that viewers had come to associate with her on Chrisley Knows Best. The golden blonde hair, once styled in soft waves that framed her face, had been replaced with a sleek, sophisticated bob. The cut was razor-sharp, a blunt line that just grazed her chin, exuding a sense of precision and control. The honeyed hue had been toned down to a more serious, almost platinum shade, the kind that hinted at a woman who had seen battles and wasn't afraid to show the scars they left behind. Her wardrobe choice was equally striking, instead of the bright, pastel ensembles she had favored in the past, reflecting her life of ease and excess. Julie now sported a minimalist, sharply tailored black suit. The jacket was crisp, structured with strong shoulders, and the slacks flowed just wide enough to hint at power, without arrogance. 
Underneath the jacket, a simple white blouse peeped out, unadorned by the heavy jewelry she once favored. No chunky necklaces or oversized earrings this time. Her accessories were refined, understated. A single silver bracelet on her wrist, a delicate chain around her neck, barely visible unless you looked closely. It was a look that balanced elegance with restraint, signaling that she wasn't there to be flashy, but she wasn't retreating either. Her makeup had undergone a similar transformation. Known for her glamorous television-ready looks, Julie appeared before the court in a more subdued visage. Her complexion was flawless, but the makeup was lighter, more natural. The dramatic smoky eyes and bold lips had been traded for soft tones, top and beige on the eyes, a barely there pink on the lips. It was as if she had stepped away from the performance of television and embraced the reality of her situation. Her look was no longer one of a celebrity. It was that of a woman standing on the precipice of her fate, both vulnerable and resolute. As Julie moved toward the front of the courtroom, a ripple of murmurs coursed through the spectators. Whispers of, is that really her? And she looks so different, floated between the benches, but Julie remained unfazed. Her chin was held high, her eyes fixed ahead, betraying no emotion. This was a woman who had prepared for battle, but not in the flashy, dramatic way one might expect from a reality star. No, her armor was subtle, intellectual almost. She had come to the courtroom not as the reality TV personality the world thought they knew, but as someone transformed, someone who had learned the brutal lessons of public scrutiny and personal downfall. Even her posture seemed different. She moved with a kind of grounded grace, no longer the buoyant, light-hearted figure from the small screen. Julie's every step was measured, her shoulders back, her gaze forward. It wasn't just that her physical appearance had changed. Her entire demeanor had shifted. This was not a woman broken by her circumstances, but one reshaped by them. She was no longer just a personality, she was a presence. The transformation was so complete, so stark, that it begged the question, was this reinvention purely for the court's eyes, or had something more profound taken place? The media had speculated endlessly, but no one knew for sure. What was clear, though, was that Julie Chrisley's appearance in court was not merely a continuation of her public persona. It was a break from it, a shedding of the old skin. Whether this was a strategy, an attempt to win over the jury by appearing more serious, more relatable, or a genuine reflection of her inner evolution, no one could say for certain. But as she took her seat and the trial began, it was obvious that Julie Crisley had arrived as someone new. The cameras relegated to the outside of the courtroom would capture only glimpses of this transformation. But those inside, those close enough to witness the full effect, understood that something had shifted. Julie Crisley had donned not just a new physical appearance, but a new identity, one forged in the crucible of scandal, legal battles, and personal reckoning. It was this woman, not the one the world thought they knew, who now faced the court, and in that moment it was impossible to look away. The courtroom was silent, save for the quiet shuffle of papers and the occasional whisper that fluttered from one corner of the room to another. It was a day that had been marked in red on the calendar for weeks, a day that would bring Julie Crisley back into the spotlight. She entered the courtroom with an air of calm resolve, her new appearance immediately catching the eyes of everyone in attendance. Gone were the blonde waves that had once been her signature look, a staple on reality television that had become almost as recognizable as the Chrisley family name itself.